Daddy Simpson. So this one, have y'all heard? Y'all seen this interview? I can't full screen it. It won't let me full screen. Trying to get it to full screen within the box. Put it. Black teenager and falsely accusing him of stealing her cell phone. So there was this video that came out a couple uh, uh, days ago, if I want to say like maybe a week or two ago, where this lady accused uh, this black teenager, 14 year old, of stealing her phone. And she attacked him for it. <laughs> like she was like so convinced that he stole her phone. So convinced. Turned out that he didn't. The woman caught on camera. And now she's getting a whole PR tour. Yay. Falsely accusing him of stealing her cell phone has been arrested in California. It happened last night. You might remember this video. Mia Ponsetto approached 14-year-old Keon Harold Jr. at a New York City hotel last month, accusing him of stealing her phone. His father, jazz musician Keon Harold, recorded the encounter and accused Ponsetto of racial profiling. We have what you, you, see, you see two black people. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. Now the video shows Ponsetto trying to stop the teenager from leaving the hotel lobby and then rushing toward them. Hotel surveillance video shows the 22-year-old woman tackling Keon Jr. Now, he never had the phone. It turned up several minutes later at the hotel. New York City detectives went to California yesterday to coordinate Ponsetto's arrest in connection with the confrontation. She was contacted at a traffic stop in Ventura County near Los Angeles. Officials say that police had to pull her out of the car when she refused to get out. Now, in an exclusive interview, we had just done that interview yesterday afternoon. Her lawyer spoke with us before she was arrested. They told us that NYPD had not yet contacted them. Mia, help me understand, what made you think that Keon had your phone? That's why I'm confused. Why did you think he had it? I was approaching the, the people that had been exiting the hotel because in my mind, anybody exiting is probably the one that uh, might be the one that is trying to steal my phone. I admit, yes, I could have approached the situation differently or maybe not yelled at him like that and made him feel, you know, maybe some sort of uh, inferior way, making him feel as if I was like hurting his feelings because that's not my intention. I, I was hurting his feelings. I was approaching everybody that was leaving because one of them definitely had my phone. It's not like somebody took the phone, ran back upstairs, and, like, just waited. No, it has to be one of the people leaving. That's your first mistake, bro. Like, I, I consider myself to be super sweet. I really never, ever met. I can say, yo, who let her go on this interview with the daddy? Cab? Like, who, who said that's, yeah, that's a great idea. Oh, yeah, they're going to love that. And for it to, like, hurt him or his father either. Are you saying that you were stopping everybody in the lobby asking them about your phone? Is that what you're saying? Um, not everyone. Just the just the people that in the meantime while, while the hotel manager was checking the, the footage, I just wanted to do my part as best as I could. You just described yourself as super sweet. I know you've seen the video. When you look at the video, the reaction seems very extreme. It doesn't seem like it's someone who's super sweet. How would you feel if you were alone in New York and you know, you're going to spend time with your family during the holidays and you lose the one thing that gets stolen from you that has all of the access to the only way that you're able to get back home. I just don't think I would random. It's called iPhone backup. I'm sure your family would literally buy you a new phone to which you could like use to locate your old phone. If it was still on, you could use find my iPhone on anybody's thing to see where it was going. We'll see its last location, and that would have told you it was in the Uber. Notice how she said, oh, I'm not stopping everybody. I'm, you know, while the hotel manager's doing his part, I just wanted to do my little investigation. Huh, so you weren't stopping everybody. So what was your criteria for your investigation since you're so scientifically and so super smart and so super sweet? What was your, what was your investigation about? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. That's, that's fire, bro. That's, that's, yo, we should scrim sometime. That's sick. That's sick. That you were able to, without having any knowledge, because you're new to New York, key, key, nuance here, you're new to New York, so you don't know any of the real, you don't really know any of the people around, 
So you deduced that a person that stole something from you is leaving the hotel. You don't remember where you put it down. You don't remember how they stole it. But you know the makeup and identity of the person who did it. Because I'm doing my own investigation. Noise. Noise. Very noise. I love it. How'd you do it? How'd you do it? How do you do it? How do you, how do you make it work? How do you make it work? Randomly <laughs> attack people is, is, is what I'm saying to you. I know you said you could have handled it better, but I just don't think I would randomly attack people in the manner in which you did. What do you think when you look at that video? You're standing there in your leggings and your flip-flops, and it looks like you're just going nuts, for lack of a better word. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone! I don't feel that that is who I am as a person. I don't feel like this one mistake does define me, but I do sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, apologize that if I made the son feel as if I assaulted him or if I hurt his feelings or the father's feelings. I don't believe one mistake defines anybody, but I, I think when I look at that... I've gotten angry and I've fought people. I've gotten into verbal disputes and even put hands and had hands put on me from mistakes. Those mistakes don't define you, but they are part of your character, whether deep seated or not. Like I understand fight or flight situations, but like things that you escalate on your own game, that's you. That's who you are. You felt entitled to do so. That doesn't come out of nowhere. That's what I used to say to people. People don't like smoke weed or like drink. And then all of a sudden start speaking five languages because it's hidden in their brain. They act on their true principles. Like, you don't drink and then be like, yeah, I'm going to sleep with, <laughs> like, I'm going to sleep with random women on the street. Like, you, you put your own game into it. You put your own, you go out, you might have more confidence, but you still your own game. Like, if you're going to lie under the influence, then you were going to lie probably sober. You probably were just more hesitant about it. Like, I hate that whole rehabilitation. This one mistake should not make up my whole character. Like, bitch, you are famous on the internet for that one thing. Like, it's over for you. What job you getting? Aren't you that girl that was racist towards that black guy? I, no, everybody keeps asking me about that, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Can I just ring you up? It's twelve ninety five. <laughs> that particular video... You're, you did more than just accuse him. The video seems to show that you physically attacked this young boy. You do see that too, right? But at the end of the day, the dad did end up, uh, like, slamming me to the ground and uh, pulling my hair and th throwing me and dragging me across the ground. So I, I will say that. Yeah, but, but I think, you know, the video we saw, it looked like you had just attacked his son. Yeah, the footage. Walk around? Oh, I got you. Fuck around? Find out. Oh, I got the crumbs and everything. I'm eating well, swell over here. It shows me attacking his son of attacking him how? Yelling at him? Yes. Okay, I apologize. Can we move on? I know you're saying I don't need to. I just want to apologize. But I do think that there should be some context to your actions that day. Okay, so... Basically, I'm, I'm a. Who the fuck let her go take this interview? Who the fuck? Who the fuck said this interview was a good idea? She's saying she's only 22 years old, like she didn't assault a 14 year old whose adult father had intervened. So are we supposed to be compassionate even because she's younger, but she doesn't see the issue of assaulting a person even younger than her? Did she just re did she really say the father assaulted her by dragging her off his son? Twenty-two year old girl, I am I should, should be some context to your it. actions Here that day. Okay, so I'm just a twenty-two year old valley I'm, girl. I'm a twenty-two year old girl. I am I I don't I racism uh, <laughs> is I said I how is one girl accusing. Yeah, you know, she can't even get the words out, bro. You want a MacBook? You want a MacBook? They while well, they came to film it there, and I guess they're <laughs> you know white victimhood is so beautiful. 
I racism it I priv me I'm just I'm you me together dance fries shake <laughs> racism uh is I said I how is one girl accusing a guy about a phone a crime <laughs> So what'd you throw the racist word in there? What'd you throw racism in there for? I didn't even have a thing to do with your sentence. Yo, you could be telling on themselves. That's what I'd be saying about having these conversations. They'd be telling on themselves. Like your lack of your lack of of nuance to see where this might be a race issue is that you just said in that sentence, how is a 22-year-old girl asking or accusing a young 14-year-old boy about stealing a phone, a crime. Okay, accusing is one thing. Do you have my phone? He says, no. Seeing the phone and being like, that's mine. No. I'm not giving you my phone. I don't know you, et cetera, et cetera. Straight up grabbing, I'm not letting you leave with my phone. You're not accusing the person of having your phone. You are certifying that you are sure that that person has taken something from you. Way different than me saying, uh, chat, did you take this thing from me? Like, uh, did you take this thing from me earlier? That's asking you. That's not accusing you. But then I'm like, yeah, you took it from me. That's accusing you. You uh, <laughs> white privilege, bro. How could my actions ever be wrong? What could I have possibly ever done to make you feel like I'm a racist of all things? I love black people. I listen to SZA all the time. Like, come on, Doja Cat, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a cow. Like, thanks. I, I needed that. <laughs> Where is the context in that? Mia, what is the Mia, deeper, Mia, what is the deeper, Mia, what is the deeper Mia, it's not, it's, it, that, the reverse shit. What I say earlier about, about like, now you can see why uh, Trump supporters and Republicans and white privilege get thrown together. You tell me how it's a bad thing. Bitch, you were there. Like, you tell me how it was a bad thing. That's not the problem. You have to at least understand your actions that day. You seem to have attacked this little boy, this young boy, this, this teenager. You seem to have attacked this teenager about the phone. And then it turned out he didn't even have your phone. That's the thing. I mean, you're, you're, you're saying, look, I'm 22 years old. You're 22 years old, but you are old enough to know better. So I will say you're 22. Oh, I, I get, get it. Enough. The hotel no, no, did no, have no, my no. phone. Oh. The hotel did end up having my phone. I did get my belongings returned to me. All right. Oh, oh wow. Great, Gail. Enough. 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 She hit you with the I'm reclaiming my time. Oh, I gotta watch that again. That shit hurt my feelings. No better. So I will say you're 22. You're I, right, can't. I get it. Enough. The hotel Enough. did have. She didn't even say. All right, Miss King. She said, "All right, Gail." Like you're on that media level to be like, "All right, Gail." Okay, Gail. That's your name, Gail. Okay, Gail. Co Wyatt. First of all, get, get, is this fair? Chat, you could call me out on this if this is bullshit. You can call me out on this. Is it fair to say that this is a black motion? Is it fair to have like the, okay, that's, that's, that's a minority thing. That's, that's black. Like, is it fair for me to claim that? Because I feel like that's, that's where I, okay, thank you. That's fair. Okay. Taking the culture. Taking the culture. <laughs> Taking the culture, oh, doing it to a black woman like that. You you gotta see the layers. <laughs> you, there's there's clean. This is what I be talking about about nuance. You gotta see the layers. You've gotta see the layers in that. So I will say you're 22. You're I, right, get I get it. Enough. The hotel enough, did have my phone. The hotel did end up having my phone. I did get my belongings returned to me. First of all, if the hotel did have your belongings, then the boy still didn't have it. So, how are you shutting her up on that? All right. Oh, oh wow. Great, Gail. 
Enough. 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 That was my favorite part. Enough. <laughs> now, the Harold family's lawyer released a statement last night. They said this is not about an apology from someone who, until a few days ago, was claiming she did nothing wrong and, in fact, alleged that Keon Harold Sr. had assaulted her. Someone who targeted a 14 year old black teenager because of the color of his skin. We'll have more of our interview with Miss with Miss, with Miss Mia Honsetto on Monday. You know, I damn, even she was nice enough to be like Miss. Actually, felt for the attorney there who was really trying to help her, and then, yeah. you know, when she interjected, uh, Mia would get upset about that. She insisted that she's not racial. Well, I thought that was her mom. That was her lawyer. Profile. <laughs> I thought that was her mom. <laughs> Yo, I thought that was her mom. That's why I was sitting there like, damn, she's, you know, being support. That was her attorney, yo. That was her attorney. There's an explanation about that. Yeah. And, you know, it was reported that an Uber driver returned the phone. She I, think, says okay, that, I was right about the Uber that's thing. That's not true. So right. she's... <laughs> but, she never, wanted to make an apology, but I, as I said to her in the interview, I'm not sure you're helping yourself here. Well, yeah. the point is, he didn't have her phone. No, he did not. And? He did not. <laughs> Interesting choice of hat, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I often <laughs> yeah, they the, brought the that. Video footage is pretty clear, and she yeah. doesn't seem quite ready to acknowledge what it shows. Because she lived in the Trump era, baby. You could see the footage for your own eyes, and you still be like, no, 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 never, no, no.